my name is Glenda Castillo and in a previous tutorial I show you how to create a watercolor palette using an eyeshadow box like this. In this tutorial I want to show you how to fill a watercolor palette with warm and cool colors. My painting system is to use cool and warm colors. Cool colors lean towards blue, green and violet. We can, if we split the color wheel in half, we can see that these are in one side. Cool colors suggest distance and are relaxing. Now warm colors lean towards yellow, orange and bright red. These colors make people feel cheerful and they bring objects closer to the eye. In the color wheel, we can also observe that there are three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. These three primary colors can also be warm or, or cool. For example, yellow can be warm or cool, red can be warm or cool, and the same with blue. In a complete palette, we want to have one cool and one warm of each primary color. In this case, the colors that I will use are hot yellow for warm, lemon yellow for cool, cut red for warm, Crimson for cool, Thalo blue for warm, Ultramarine blue for cool. Since I have more wells empty in this uh, box, I will be also adding other colors like orange, purple, and green. These are the main colors that I want to have in any palette. I am also going to have white and gray, burnt sienna, Naples yellow, and black. If I have more space in my, in my palette, I will be adding other blues. If I want to paint flowers, I will be using also other kinds of reds and purples. I finish adding the colors to the palette and this is how it looks. I also cut the small shapes of watercolor paper and glue that to the lid and using my brush I painted the samples. I wanted to have a bigger sample. I cut a piece of watercolor paper and I also painted the sample. This is my small one with the sample. Now that I have my paints ready, I just need a pen, a water brush, and also some paper. I hope you like this tutorial, and I will see you soon. Thank you.